Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and welcome back to the Today Show. Now on the 20th of August, which is this coming Saturday, the Muslim Education Trust is conducting a Muslim homeschooling conference. Joining us this evening to discuss how and why many people have recently opted to start homeschooling their children is the organiser of this online event. A very warm welcome to the Community Manager at Muslim Education Trust, Hassan Ali. Welcome, thank you so much for joining us, mashallah. Alhamdulillah. And this is such a fascinating subject and it's such a fascinating conference, subhanAllah. Sure. Uh, you know, mashallah, the conference is all about homeschooling and there is a huge trend of people now starting to move towards homeschooling. And I know I myself, people yeah. have asked me, like, would you put your children in this and that? And inshallah, when I get children, <laughs> I'm like, without a doubt, I'd want to homeschool them right now. Like, that's how I'm feeling right now. Like, I feel like I can just do that much more of a better job at it, I feel like. And that sounds really arrogant, I know, yeah. but sometimes you just kind of know, like, mm. But yeah. anyway, tell us about Muslim Education Trust and where, you know, about the roots of that. Yeah, so, Sister Sadia, to talk about Muslim Education Trust, we essentially wanted to fill a, a gap, mm -hmm. um, knowing that education really is revolutionizing. Um, things have really taken off in the information age. Yeah. Um, there's just so much knowledge everywhere. Yeah. And uh, we wanted to essentially fill that gap. Yeah. Three main things. One is um, to really sort of be the ambassador of homeschooling. Um, number two is to increase financial literacy um, from a very early age. Mm. And number three is to support the 2.5 million disadvantaged students um, in the UK, which are you know pupil premium FSM. I don't want to go into the technical yeah. you know, aspects of that, mm -hmm. but they're sort of our three core aims. Oh, uh, mashallah. So, so, so that was the kind of the, the, the vision with which you set up. Do you feel like you're on target and on track, inshallah? Um, this was only four months. It's literally been a few months uh, since we've set up. Uh, inshallah, we've you know we do have some ambitions. Uh, you know, if if there's people out there that want to essentially support what we're doing, um, uh, you know, feel free to of course, um, you know, email in. We're looking for volunteers, etc. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're more than welcome to you know to to, to take on Fantastic. as many sort of people to support. Now, why why do you think homeschooling is on the rise then? Because I I know that there's a, like I know many people actually who are homeschooling their children and that's just me myself I'm like I can name like probably over 20 30 people just from my close friends so of why course. do you think it's on the rise it's on the rise I mean for many sort of different factors right mm -hmm. um, uh, there's but you know to be succinct as much as possible mm -hmm. this is not only sort of you know this is a rise across the board mm -hmm. on a sort of global level yeah. um, uh, the US are of course much more advanced say in the UK if I'm making some yeah. sort of comparison in, in homeschooling um, they have their policy structure sort of in place yeah. UK of course we're sort of getting there as well yeah but most of all technology is moving fast yeah um, it's easily more easily mm. accessible to access resources yeah. to access tutors teachers um, I don't want to go too much in terms of say mainstream who, yeah. schooling yeah. Yeah. Uh, but of course um, you know class sizes are mm. Um, uh, increasing mm. budgets, of course, you know, that's another <laughs> thing. Yeah. Um, uh, and uh, parents are thinking, actually, um, uh, you know, we sort of, with all of these resources that we've got now, yeah. um, uh, we're able to do this mm -hmm. our ourselves to some, so some sort of level. Um, uh, and there's so much more to learn now. It's not yeah. just about sort of GCSEs, you know, it may be bullying. There's so many various yeah, factors, really. Yeah, things so that you kind of need to navigate and yeah. it's actually just easier perhaps to just work from home and support your child whilst you're... And especially, I think COVID also has really helped in the sense of like more parents are now hybrid working, for example, and if they have the option of being more uh, like present in their ch yeah. children's company, why not take advantage for of that? For sure. Look, you know, going into, say, sort of me on a personal mm -hmm. sort of level, uh, I've got a two-year-old, inshallah, oh, in September. Yeah. I've also got a six-week-year-old uh, daughter. And really, this essentially, for me, being you know, a part of, say, Muslim Education Trust, yeah. is essentially allowing me to be a part of the research before yeah. my child, say, is, is five years old. Oh, and uh, this me, I, I really want to see, okay, through all of the research, through understanding um, everything that I'm looking at in terms of home education, is it for me? I've done so much research into it by looking at many, many different case studies, yeah. and it is absolutely fascinating. The reality is we've got 168 hours a week, yeah. right? And a, a third of that is used in school, yeah. right? That's 40 sort of 40 hours 
excluding travelling yeah. time to and from school. Um, and it's, you know, that's, that's a lot of time, right? Is it being productively spent mm. in schools, yeah. right? One, are they, uh, you know, developing those skills that children need, mm. not just from a theoret uh, theoretical standpoint, but also in terms of the experience that children, uh, adults, need to yeah. really progress. And, uh, yeah, that sort of... Uh, it's like of, yeah. it's one thing to be taught the academics, but it's really important that you're also alongside that being taught the life skills that you need, which I think that's a pa like an, a pandemic in and of itself that you've got all these people coming out of schooling, but not having the life skills of the kind of like the the soft skills that you need to really get a, get far in life, whether it's you know budgeting or public speaking, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All those skills they yeah. don't actually have, but they're very academic, and it's like yeah. Oh, let's I mean, uh, I mean, just touching on that, you won't believe. I mean, we've got so many sort of case studies. Even private school mm. parents that are sort of paying in the region of say 15, 20, 30,000 pound a year are thinking, actually, we can spend that sort of money uh, much better through homeschooling. Are we getting the return on investment mm. uh, in terms of you know our children developing the skills you just sort of talked about? Um, so it's you know it's a shift uh, from all sort of you know levels of sort of you know types of parents really. Yeah. I, so it's, uh, I can imagine happening. also like obviously earlier on the earlier generations they were very much busy about just doing the, providing the basics like let me put a roof over your head and food on the table and clothes on your body and everything else was kind of like a periphery thing but now obviously alhamdulillah because of their efforts we're in a you know, second generation parents they say yeah. we're in a better position and we can actually afford to think a little bit more about the the holistic kind of uh, mm. nurturing of the child and so this now becomes an option where it wasn't but before perhaps exactly and uh, you know this is sort of you know it's about the mm. puzzle isn't it the puzzle mm. is okay the the parents that are essentially going to be you could say like the mini head teacher or the head teacher mm. of their school in the home mm. and then of course exp you know fitting a puzzle together mm. and a strategy mm -hmm. uh, to ensure that they're you know they're, they're conducting the homeschooling in the best sort of manner uh, possible and uh, yeah it's about sort of developing the ecosystem you can say yeah uh, the, the homeschooling ecosystem and yeah that's yeah. Uh, I have been, obviously we've been talking very very glowingly about homeschooling and there's so many benefits to it but parents may be watching at home thinking that's all great and it sounds great but what about the socialization that my child needs and okay. that's one of the reasons why we put them in school is because they can socialize with their children how would you address that question I think that's a that's a, a very very uh, important point mm -hmm. what I, I uh, I do want to do is look we'll give the answers in the the Muslim homeschooling conference regarding <laughs> that because that's yeah. you know that's what everyone yeah. says right mm -hmm. um, but you know there are now like I said not just technology advancing there's so many community clubs there's so many extracurricular activities there's so many homeschooling groups mm -hmm. as homeschooling rises the yeah. demand increases naturally what happens is people form groups ah. to essentially develop that socializing sure, but yeah. you know i won't uh, go, go too into much into too that much, just, but we're basically just, yeah. thinking <laughs> homeschooling bubbles essentially that exactly. might, may exist in yeah, yeah. i've heard of those as well Inshallah. to be fair yeah, so yeah. that's really cool. interesting now you've touched on the conference can you tell us a little bit more about the conference itself what can you know when is it what can people look forward to okay in terms of the the muslim homeschooling conference um what essentially it is is that what we need to understand is yeah. that there is 365 days in a year. And that's this weekend, right? Sorry. Sorry just yeah, it is on, it's so on Saturday. Watch. So yeah. the people who are watching, yeah. you really need to, yeah. subhanallah. Inshallah. That's so very interesting. Yeah, I mean, look, the you know the details are there. And yeah. without a doubt, every single parent needs mm. to be tuning in um, yeah. simply because think about it in a way, mm. ideally, if they can also arrange childcare mm -hmm. um, so they can have this one peaceful day in the 365 busy year, mm. right, to just concentrate strategically on planning their child's future, right? Mm -hmm. This is essentially what this conference is about. It's allowing parents to switch off and to, to, to listen to academic mm -hmm. experts, as well as uh, people like, you know, Sheikh Hamza Yusuf, uh, who, you know, alhamdulillah, is, uh, you know, a homeschooling parent himself mm -hmm. and has so much information on this topic and is really inspirational. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, we've got the, the, the secular and the non-secular uh, experts to deliver this to create and allow parents to strategize, to plan on a you know, strategy, strategy, tactical, and an operational sort of level, the day-to-day -day aspect. Amazing. So it's 
just yeah, it's inshallah, it's really excited for the parents actually. You seem very excited. <laughs> this is this is this one of the first of its kind, do you think, in the UK it's at least? So from my research, yeah. and I love uh, researching for, yeah. for hours. <laughs> you seem um, like a real researcher. As well as my wife, you know, <laughs> both of us, we love to, to research a lot. So in terms of um, in terms of that, what I would say is it's the first um, ever um, parent conference, I'd say. I've never even seen a parent conference of this magnitude, uh, sure. let alone the first Muslim homeschooling and conference. And the fact that it's online means that it's very accessible. You don't have to travel anywhere to obviously get to it. You can just make sure that you're, you know, you're, you're there basically, you're like, in your own home. Yeah, exactly. So we've actually, <laughs> yeah. we only launched it a, p a month or two ago, yeah. and we've already had approximately 15, 20,000 registrations and uh, a large well. number is of course in the UK because yeah. that's the parents we want to impact. And um, it's the education system that you're tackling, right? Exactly. So, yeah, and then we've sense. got, yeah, and then we've got Malaysia, the Middle East, uh, so a lot of expat communities um, oh. around the world are, inshallah, also tuning in. So Absolutely amazing, mashallah. Mm -hmm. So fascinating, subhanAllah. Mm -hmm. I, I've got friends who are actually currently teachers but who are really interested because obviously they're in the, the industry, they understand it. I used to be in the education industry actually okay. once one time, but the college age, not, not yeah, necessarily, of there was like, still, they, they actually yeah. want to be in education by then, right? It's very yeah. different. Yeah. But my friends who are like nursery, high school kind of teachers, they've always been, you know, very, very much fascinated and interested to learn more about this. I'm definitely going to be recommending, inshallah, for them yeah. to tune in as well. But in terms of the conference itself then, would you say that it's open to people like te 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 teachers or people who are involved in youth development generally, or is it just for homeschooling parents? The, the, yeah, F a really good question, and I'm very happy that you've touched on it. Mm -hmm. Now, the reality is, if we l just divide the two terms, home and schooling, mm -hmm. it's schooling in the home, right? <laughs> so essentially, it's for full-time parents, part-time parents, and I would say even elder siblings to some level, right? Yeah. Everyone really should be tuning in because, um, after school, mm. uh, what happens? Uh, the home education begins. Yeah. Uh, so it's extremely important that I would say um, every single parent uh, tunes in and just has this peaceful day, really. Um, uh, yeah, that I would say is... Yeah, other professionals then are more, welcome, more than oh, welcome in to. Terms of, yeah. yeah, in terms of professions, mm -hmm. um, so in terms of the people that have sort of already registered, we've got teachers, qualified teachers, doctors, tutors, bus drivers, cleaners, you know, from every background. Sure. So um, everyone, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's Anyone interesting. Anyone in, uh, who's invested in education essentially, right, is what you're saying. <laughs> exactly, because it, yeah. it can essentially act as sort of research. We've even had, sorry, schools register. Oh, so we've had, lot. so it, we've got a Facebook group mm. of about, I think, about 10,000 uh, you know, individuals. Mm. And in that, uh, you know, you, you've got schools, you've got, um, all types of sort of educational institutions, te every yeah. So every, like you said, everyone in education. Yeah. Mashallah, it sounds amazing, and <laughs> that, you know, it's not like you're really onto something here by g galvanizing the community clearly. Mm -hmm. So I wish you all the best with the conference, inshallah, this weekend. You, you know, inshallah, we'll be able to get a recap, maybe even of how it went. You know, maybe we can have a follow-up interview with you, inshallah, just to find yeah. out how it went. It'll be really interesting, fascinating if you can capture the feedback of that conference into like a research document, I'd definitely read it, definitely, yeah, for sure. Yeah. But inshallah. all the best with it, inshallah. And yeah, inshallah, all the best with homeschooling and really taking it into our community. Jazakallah uh, khair to yourself and uh, the viewers as well. Oh, mashallah, barakallah fikum. Now, jazakallah khair for everyone who's been tuning in, watching the show. We hope that you enjoyed. Mashallah, we had Chef Zarka as well. Jazakallah khair to Chef Zarka for really, really tickling my taste buds, mashallah. She really did create something special with those flavors, mashallah, with the tajine. But for more from Islam Channel and for the latest news and stories, you can visit islamchannel.tv or download our app. You can also follow us on our social media channels. You can find us on Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and also on Facebook, mashallah. If you'd like to appear on our show, and if you have, if you have something of interest, like Brother Hassan, mashallah, something of interest to share that should be of interest to our viewers, please do drop us an email at today at islamchannel.tv. And for all of us here at the Today Show, we want to wish you a fantastic week ahead. And I'm going to leave you now with Remember Me by Saeed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.